Well, I'm, 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 I would consider myself an optimistic doomer, <laughs> optimistic doomer. And the reason, the reason why I say that is because typically optimism is framed in the sense of like, oh, no, no, not a single bad thing is going to happen. The future is going to be totally peachy, right? Whereas the way I think is more like, okay, we're going to face some, some pretty serious challenges, yes. but, but we will make it through and it's going to catalyze us into an even more positive state or positive state of civilization than we are now. So I think the outcome, there's light at the end of the tunnel, but the tunnel is dark. That's how I would like yeah. to put it. And, and, and also, I'm not a fatalist. I don't think that the future is singular. I do think that the future is open. And the only reason why I say that is because you can look at, you can look, look at your own life, for example. There are times in life where things look probably really dark, really grim. You don't see a solution out, but somehow you made it through. Or other times, you know, some wild card surprise came into your life. It kind of helped you out in some way. It could have been yeah. a person, it could have been an idea, a dream, intuition, or something like that, right? So why wouldn't that also then be true for humanity as a whole? Because we see, based based on the news and the scientific trends and economic trends, we see that doom is kind of coming. But as I mentioned earlier, we're not able to see necessarily all the data pointing towards a positive because a positive doesn't operate by hard data necessar data necessarily. It operates by intuition, inspiration, synchronicity, divine guidance, just things spontaneously and organically motivating people to do what they need to do, whether it's organizing or or speaking out or being themselves, you know, or not choosing a certain person or another, right? So that's why I'm optimistic because I do see that whole other side of the picture that counters the deterministic doom trends. So that's why I'm saying that, okay, as dark as things are, I am pretty sure that there are secret forces um, surprises, wild cards, wild cards that will counteract and play upon the, the black swans that are kind of coming our way, whether it's societal collapse or EMP stuff or financial stuff, no matter what it is that we face, the darker it is, the more of a catalyst, a catalyst it is for the light, right? So that's how I view it. There's always this balance as we go into the future. And yeah, the darker it'll get, the more light there will be at the same time. And, uh, and that's why I do think things will, will work out in the end because we have good people that are driven by spirit and spirit is ultimately indomitable. And so therefore, even if the entire world burns down, as long as some part of us survives, we will rebuild under a higher spiritual template.